Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about tools and methods of data collection which comes under Unit 5. This is my part 1 video. In this video, I am going to discuss about types and sources of data collection, methods of data collection, instrument or tools for data collection as well as selection of methods of data collection. This video will be useful for BSc Nursing, Post Basic BSc Nursing as well as students who are studying MSc Nursing. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the content what we are going to discuss in this video that is introduction to data collection. What is data? Data are the observable and measurable facts that provide information about the phenomena under study. So data is nothing but uh, it is the observable and measurable facts. So facts means information okay that provide information about the phenomena of what you are studying under study. In research studies two types of data are collected. One is from primary source and secondary source. So the sources of data are from primary data sources and secondary data sources. So data sources a quality of research study requires that highly reliable and valid data are collected. So, a quality of research study that will be requiring what the data what you are collecting should be reliable as well as valid then only the quality of the research study will be there. So the information collected from different research studies generally depend on various sources like primary source of data collection and secondary sources of data collection. So let's see one by one. So types as already I have told types of data collection methods are from primary sources and secondary sources. Primary means directly you are collecting okay da data directly collected from the research unit which may be individual objects or programs. So, the data directly collected from research units which may be individual objects or programs. They provide the first hand information that is collected by the researcher directly from the respondents or the situation which may be collected through interviews, questioning, observation etc. So, here in primary sources directly you are collecting it from the research unit or from the person or from the object or from the program. So, since it is primary, it provides what fresh first hand information that is collected by the researcher directly from the respondents or the situation. So, the, he can use some methods like interview method or um, questioning method or observation method to collect this type of data. Next is secondary sources. Secondary sources, this will not provide first hand information. So, you are collecting the data either from internal or external secondary sources. So, directly you are not collecting from the object or from the participant or from the uh, situation. Indirectly, you are collecting either from uh, uh, internal or external secondary sources. The external secondary sources involves materials such as published or unpublished records. So, external sources it involves what? Either published or unpublished records, uh, journals, magazines, books uh, like that or uh, some records which are maintained in some hospitals or any institution or government records like that. Published records are journals, magazines, censors, reports. Uh, unpublished records may include uh, that is thesis, dissertation, patient records, uh, research studies everything comes under unpublished records so internal secondary sources are also known as private documents so internal secondary sources are known as private documents like uh, the participants diary biography uh, letters personal diary biography letters what have been written by the person so that and all comes under what internal secondary sources Next we will see the methods and tools of data collection. There are various methods and tools of data collection. So the technique of data collection, uh, 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 the means of gathering data 
with the use of specific tools that are used in given methods for example interview rating scale likert scale questionnaire like that and all so many methods or tools or instruments of data collection are there so let's see the instruments or tools of data collection so you have so many thing first is interview the method is interview under interview method the tools used are interview schedule opinion opinion asking about uh, the opinion okay that is called as opinion then question method under questioning method the tools used are questionnaire opinner attitude scale visual analog scale vas means visual analog scale next under observation under observation you have rating scale checklist anecdotes okay under observation you have rating scale checklist anecdotes so we will see in detail in my next video 111 we will be discussing in our future videos next is bio physical physiological methods under this you have in vivo in vivo means within the person and in vitro means uh in the laboratory setup uh, biophysiological uh, methods uh, then other methods under other methods you have projective techniques uh, q sorts uh, so this already you have learned in psychology also projective techniques q sorts and all so that and all also acting as a tools or methods of data collection so there are five methods that is uh, interview questioning observation and other methods uh, interview questioning um observation biophysiological methods and other methods under other methods only you have projective techniques and qsos interview uh, interview schedule opinion questioning questionnaire opinion attitude scale visual analog scale observation rating scale checklist and anecdotes uh, biophysiological in vitro and in vivo biophysiological methods and other methods projective techniques qsos selection methods of data collection so the nature of phenomena under study or type of research subjects type of research study purpose of research study size of the study samples distribution of target population time frame of the study literacy level of the subjects availability of resource and manpower researchers knowledge level and competencies so first is so what study you are going to study the nature of phenomena under study or problem under study whether it is experimental study descriptive study whatever study so that first you have to see what type of study phenomena or what problem statement you are going to do type of research subjects who is your participants okay so based on them the your method of data collection will vary if they are uh, educated or if they are in which area they are living based on their their level of understanding knowledge everything you are Uh, study will be your method of data collection selection will be vary type of research study type of research study whether i told descriptive approach exploratory approach experimental approach like this purposes of research study or objectives of research study size of the study samples whether it is a uh, hundred uh, or whether it is fifty whether it is thousand so size of the study samples is also very important uh, then distribution of target population to whom you are distribution of target population i told the population target population accessible population to whom you are going to generalize your findings that is your um, target population the area where you are covering everything comes under target population time frame of the study duration of the study whether it is you have to complete it by one month or whether you can complete it by one year or five years or six years like that uh, the duration of the study or for data collection then literacy level is very 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 important you cannot give a questionnaire uh, for an illiterate uh, person who doesn't know uh, anything uh, in any language uh. so literacy level or education level is very 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 important uh, next is availability of resource and manpower resource and manpower is also very important time money personal tmp factor we used to say that is also important then researchers knowledge uh, how much the researcher is having experience and knowledge and competent enough in order to uh, in order to frame the data collection tool and how he is going to execute it with the subjects that is also very very important based on the researcher's knowledge ability and competence and see uh, your uh, framework will be going on okay so these are all the various uh, methods of data collection and uh, brief introduction to data collection how you have to select the tools uh, everything so my next video will be on 
various methods of data collection under that first we are going to discuss about interview then again questionnaire again rating scale like that it goes on okay so next video is on interview hope this video is clear for you all if you like my video please give me a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel my previous videos link i have given in description box suggested end card and i card or you can watch our channel playlist for more nursing related videos as well as videos related to intermediate subjects science subjects thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel